A furnished home is very essential for everyone, and I can speak from personal experience. The Furnishing Homes with Hope is one of the most applicable and like beautiful phrases and missions ever. Here at Bridging, we offer three options for our clients to shop. We love to see them in person. We also offer virtual. This is where we call them on video via FaceTime or Google Meet so they can complete their shopping experience. Sometimes we have clients that are not able to come in person, so we shop for them using what we call a preference form. It's a furniture bank and we are a nonprofit organization and we provide your basic in-home setup for those in need. Mostly people who are homeless, living in shelters, or even fires. Like there's, there's so many different ways we get our, our clients. Bridging's vision that everyone lives in a furnished home is important because not everyone has the same opportunities as the next person. So like its name, it's the bridge between the two. How I view the mission of Bridging, it's more about people willing to step up and help out and pitch in and, and throw a hand. Bridging empowers people to thrive in their homes by providing quality furniture and household goods for those pursuing housing stability. Since our founding in 1987, we have furnished nearly 110,000 households. We serve more than 4,600 households each year. We are guided by our values, dignity, service, partnership, stewardship, excellence, and gratitude. I believe that volunteers are very pivotal in Bridging's mission. I like to view it as a, a huge family, actually. The staff are so much more humble than I would have ever thought. We work with more than 260 60 agencies and 2,200 caseworkers. They make referrals for their clients so that they're able to come and shop here at our warehouse. We work with families that are looking for housing. I believe that partnership is extremely crucial to being able to provide a strong support circle for the families that are going through these transitions. It takes a village to raise a child. I think it's the same concept for everyone in our community. Working with the volunteers at Bridging was really fun. It was really personal. So they actually worked with me through video call, which was really helpful for me because I didn't have a car at the time. It was helpful to see all of the items on the video. For me, that was part of the experience that I really enjoyed. There was the ladies that were helping me. They were really considerate and helpful in helping me select items. They were patient. I just felt like I was shopping with my aunties or my grandma. Bridging's focus on dignity is very important. It's very precious, the lives that come through the door. Selecting the items here felt like I was shopping at an actual store. The items I was excited about when I knew after I picked it and I was just like, I can't wait to get this item was, I would say my daughter's dresser because at first I was just hanging her clothes and now I actually have drawers to put her stuff in. And when you come up, we pull up in the driveway or the apartment complex or whatever it is and you got kids running out, Bridging is here, Bridging is here. I mean, there's some, some children that never slept on a bed. And I'll be pointing up at the truck, is that my bed, is that my bed? You can start living. You can do the things you've been wanting to do. Bridging is just such a important concept. It's a very heartwarming thought process of knowing that there's this big force that helps people through these times. 